naman ang ating i-discuss ngayong araw na to at ang topic ito ay tungkol sa con- continuity of function and type of discontinuity. So, in this case or in this lesson, we have the definition a function f is continuous at x is equal to c if the following condition are satisfied. So, the function is continuous kung masasatisfy nyo itong tatlong ito. So, we have here the, the f of c is defined or yung constant natin is defined. Then, the, the number 2, we have the limit of the function of your x exists as x approaches c. And for the number 3, dapat yung the, the limit of the function of your x as x approaches c is equal to the function of c. So, kung ano yung value dito, dapat equal sa, kung value sa 1, dapat equal sa value ng 2. Para maging continuous siya. Then, we have here the example. So, consider the function whose graph appears below. So, we have here, this is the graph. So, we have here, the, this is the first graph, this is the second graph, and this is the third graph. So, we have determine if the function is continuous at the following values. Now, uh, una natin, we have here, the x is equal to negative 2. Yung x is equal to negative 2 natin is andito. So, we have to determine, number 1 is the f of negative 2. Ano ba yung, in short, ano ba yung value ng y niya kung ang x mo ay negative 2? So, the answer here is 0 since the value of y is equal to 0 kasi ang negative 2, ah, walang mataas sa kanya dito, walang mataas dito na y and wala ditong mababang y except for the 0. Next, letter B. So, the limit of the function of your x as x approaches negative 2 from left. So, graph daw galing sa kaliwa ng negative 2. So, ito yung graph na galing sa kaliwa ng negative 2. So, ito siya. So, therefore, we have here the wala rin mataas sa tapat ng negative 2 na galing sa kaliwa na graph kundi 0. That is the highest value of y from left to right. Then, we have here the function of your x as x approaches negative 2 from uh, right is equal to 0. So, 0 din siya kasi ito yung graph na to. Mawunta dito sa galing siya sa kanan pero yung katapat ng negative 2 again is wala siyang mataas na point. Kaya 0 pa din siya. Next, we have here the since the limit of the function of your x as x approaches negative 2 from left and from right is pareha sila ng uh, answer 0 and 0. So, they are equal. So, therefore, the functions exist. So, since parehas nga sila ng value, ito yun. 0 and 0. Yung sa kaliwa ay 0. Sa kanan ay 0 also. Then, condition number 3. So, the function of your x is equal to the function of your negative, uh, negative 2. Uh, this is the limit of the function of your x as x approaches negative 2 are equal. Kasi, uh, yung f of negative 2 natin ay 0. At ang limit of the function of your negative 2 is also 0. So, pareha sila ng value. So, we can conclude that uh, the f is continuous at x is equal to negative 2. Next, we have to determine if continuous if x is equal to negative 1. So, ito naman ang ating reference point which is negative 1. So, ano ba yung mga, mat- ano ba yung mataas kay, ano ba yung mga y ni negative 1? Meron tayo dito positive 1 at saka positive 2. Sa baba, wala tayong negative na y sa kay negative 1, sa tapat ni negative 1. Now, we have two tests. We have here the f of negative 1 is equal to 1. Although mataas itong 2 kay 1, pareha sila na sa tapat ni negative 1, pero hindi natin pwedeng kunin itong 2 na to kasi siya ay open dot or open point. So, ang kunin natin is a closed point, kaya ito ay yung 1. Next letter B is the limit of the function of your x as x approaches negative 1 galing sa kaliwa is equal to positive 2. Bakit? Kasi ito yung graph na galing sa kaliwa. Ito. 
Ayan. Tapos, siya yung mataas na given or mataas na y. Kaya siya ay magiging positive 2 na nasa tapat ng negative 1 dito. Next is the, the limit of the function of your x as x approaches negative 1 positive is equal to 1. So, ito yung graph na galing sa kanan. Ito, papunta dito sa kaliwa. At ang graph na to ay na nasa tapat ng negative 1, ang mataas na y niya is positive 1. Hindi natin pwedeng kunin yung 2 kasi ito ay galing sa kaliwa. Ito ay galing sa kanan. At ang mataas na is positive 1. Kaya ang sagot natin is positive 1. Next, since the limit, this 2 are not equal, so neg 2 and positive 1 are not equal, so therefore, does not exist yung ating limit. Then, yung value na the limit of the function of your x as x approaches negative 1 is not equal to the function of your negative 1. Kasi yung function of negative 1 natin is 1, while the limit is, this limit is does not exist kasi magka iba sila ng sagot. Then, the f is discontinuous at x is equal to negative 1. So, discontinuous siya. Kasi mag, hindi siya nasatisfy doon sa condition, sa tatlong condition. The next is the same graph. Ang x natin is equal to 1. So, ang basis natin is ito, positive 1. So, meron tayong dalawang point dito. Yung isa, ito, the open point which is positive 1 yung isa is close point which is negative 1 yan katapat sya dito tapos katapat sya dito solution kukunin natin yung value ng uh, f of 1 so negative 1 sya so why it's negative 1 although meron sya dito but this is a open point so ang rep kung 1 sya kukunin natin is yung close point which is negative 1 hindi natin ito pwedeng kunin kasi ito is open point we have here the limit of the function of your x as x approaches 1 galing sa kaliwa negative 1 is equal to negative 1 so ito yung graph na galing sa kaliwa papunta sa kanan so ito siya. so yung katapat ng 1 is yung negative 1 na galing sa kaliwa. That's why this is negative 1. Next is, galing naman sa kanan, positive. X approaches positive from right. So, ito yung graph na galing sa uh, kanan. So, galing siya sa kanan, papunta dito. So, therefore, ito ay magiging positive 1. Kasi itong graph na to ay galing sa kaliwa. Ito naman ay galing sa kanan. That's why this is a positive 1 as the answer. Ito yung katapat niyang y. Now, since negative 1 and positive 1 are not equal, so therefore, this is does not exist. Then, we can conclude that the function of your x as x approaches 1 is not equal to the f of 1. Kasi, since this letter b does not exist, so therefore, hindi siya equal kay f of 1. So, therefore, f is discontinuous at x is equal to 1. Another example, we have here the function of your x is equal to x squared minus 4 if x is not equal to 1 and 2 if x is equal to 1. So, in this case, kuha tayo, kuha tayo na table of values for y is equal to x squared minus 4. So, kunin mo natin yung values nito. So, Gamit tayo ng 0, 1, and 2, then negative 1, and negative 2. So, we have here 0 and negative 4. So, 0 and negative 4 kasi this is negative 4. Then, kapag ang um, substitute natin yung value ng x dito, we have here 0, so 0, 0 squared, minus 4 is negative 4. Then, we have here negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1. Minus 4, this is negative 3. Then, negative 2 squared is negative 4. Uh, positive 4, rather. Minus 4, this will be 0. Then, 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 4 is negative 3. Then, 2, 2 squared is 4. Minus 4, this is also 0. 
Kung mapasin nyo, they are symmetrical. So, kung ano yung value dito ng 1, 2, yun din na magiging value ng negative 1, 2. So, this is negative 3, this is also negative 3, this is 0, this is also 0. Because they are symmetrical, this will be the vertex of the given function. So, kapag graph natin siya, we have here 2, ang value daw ng y ay 2 kung ang x mo ay 1. So, this is your 1, ito yung magiging 2. So, this is 1, 2. Then, here we have here x is not equal to 1. Pero, maging value niya, pag, pag nag-graph natin siya, we have 0, negative 4, start tayo sa 0, negative 4. This is 0, and negative 4, ito siya. Then, we have here negative 1, and negative 3, ito siya. Then, negative 2, and 0, ito yun. The next is we have here the 1 and negative 3, this is 1 and negative 3. This is open that kasi x is not equal to 1. So, hindi siya kasali dito. Then, we have here 2 and 0. This is your 2 and 0. Then, we can now uh, test if x is equal to 1. Why is x is equal to 1? Kasi uh, this is our reference that the x is equal to 1. Kasi wala naman tayong ibang number dito kundi 1. That's why we have to test here at uh, x is equal to 1. So, the solution we have here, the f of 1 is equal to negative, is equal to positive 2, f of 1. So, this is our reference. So, kung may 1 ka, kukunin natin is yung close. So, ang close point natin is ito, kaya magiging positive 2. We are not able to get negative 3 kasi siya ay open point. Next, we have here the limit of the function of your x approaches 1 from left. Ito yung graph na galing sa left. Yan. This will be equal to negative 3. So, ito yung galing sa left papunta sa right. Ito yung ating reference point. Hindi natin ito pwedeng kunin yung 2 kasi hindi naman siya papunta sa kanan. Hindi rin naman siya papunta sa kaliwa kasi it's just only point. So, that's why we have to get for the negative 3. Next is galing naman sa kanan. The function of your x is equal to uh, as function of your x is equal to negative 3 as x approaches 1 galing sa kanan. So, ito yung galing sa kanan natin. Reference point again natin is yung positive 1. Again, dalawa lang na pagpipilian ito at saka ito. So, we have to get here the negative 3 kasi siya ay uh, galing sa kanan. And again, ito ay walang direction. So, since the negative 3 and negative 3 are the same. So, therefore, this given is exists. But, we have here the limit of the function of your x is uh, as x approaches 1 is that equal to f of 1. Kasi the f of 1 is 2 while the, the limit is has the answer of negative 3. So, therefore, we can conclude that the f is discontinuous at x is equal to 1. So, we have here the type of discontinuity. So, number one is removable. So, there will be a hollow, that is hollow, in the graph or open point in short. Example natin, we have here the x squared minus 4 and 2. So, kapag gilarap natin siya, this is the graph from the previous. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng hollow. So, therefore, this is a removable. Next, number two, essential. The graph is not connected to each other. So, number one, two kinds ang uh, given natin, we have here the jump. The function of your x is equal to 2 if x is great, less than or equal to negative 3. So, ano ba yung mga number na mababa kay negative 3? So, this is the negative 3. So, therefore, we have negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, so on and so forth. So, this is positive to daw yung y. So, ito yung kanyang graph. Papunta siya dito. So, this is a linear also. Next, we have x plus 1 if your x is equal greater than to negative 3. So, ito yung negative 3 tapos mataas daw kay negative 3. So, kung, kung siya ay 2, ay, ito, dito siya. Kung siya ay 1, kung negative 1 siya, mataas siya kay negative 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative to negative 1 so this is uh, negative 1 plus negative 1 this is will be 0 
Kung siya naman ay mm, zero, zero plus one, this will be one. So, pag ganito siya, mataas siya. So, this is the jump kasi these two are not connected. Next is we have the infinite essential let R be infinite. So, kapag ang given natin, this is the example of infinite discontinuity kasi the graph is meron siyang symmetrical here. Ayan. Tapos, continuous lang siya. Nahati lang siya sa dalawa. Pero hindi sila uh, they are just uh, asymptotic. Pero hindi sila magtatagpo. This is the infinite graph. So, this is the example. So, that's all that is our topic. So, I hope so na may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson. Music